I bring this acknowledgement of country in a spirit of reconciliation with the people of the Birigoba Nation and out of respect for the partnership being forged between Burdekin Catholic High School and the Gujida Reference Group. We gather on the traditional country of the Bindal people who are traditional custodians of this land. Our journey has drawn us from near and far, traveling across Bindal country to the north of Mao, the Burdekin River, and through Juru country to the south of the Burdekin River. I pay respect to the elders, both past and present, for they are the keepers of memories, traditions, stories, and culture. They hold the hopes for our future in unity. I also recognize the contribution of the Torres Strait Islander and South Sea Islander peoples in founding the Burdekin, its industries, and community. Let us be mindful as we gather together that each of us also brings our own presence, story, and culture to rest for a time on this country. Good morning and welcome to our Year 12 graduation mass. Today marks an important milestone in the lives of our Year 12 students, for their parents and families, and for our school. There are a multitude of emotions swirling around. Excitement, trepidation, happiness, sadness, pride, and most importantly, love. Our mass today is a celebration we come together to celebrate the joy in our graduating class and to bless them in love as they launch into the rest of their lives. Shortly, our Year 12 students will process in when their names are announced. Please remain seated as they enter. We will commence our gathering hymn after the final student has entered. Please join me in welcoming our graduating class of 2021. Holly Alford. Madeline Arboit. Technical difficulties. Brielle Astorkia. Kao Min Ung. Joshua Barton. Shane Marie Benson. Dylan Bowman. Georgia Rose Bonanno. Ella Bromble, Luca Brotto, Freya Burbage, Jade Sava, who isn't with us this morning. Elise Conzonas. Amity Cornford. Bo Crowdy. Ryan Delabate. Billy Demanti, Riley Falco,
Jennifer Fatinas. Kai Great. Paige Griggs. Megan Hall. Gabby Hatch. Riley Hawkins. Preston Hickmott. Regan Horan. Saren Horan. Grace Hosey. Oliver Hudson. Roman Atiriaga. <laughs> Eugene James. Nike Kainuna. Rory Luscombe. Keely Magatelli. Kiana Ma. Madison Manwaring Samwell. Ciara McDonnell. Joshua Mio. Isabella Molkai. Jones Munro. Jared Nelson. CJ Nolan. Edwin Nunez. Kayla Bratelli. Hayley Rhodes. Luke Satori. Ellie Mae Stevenson. Carl Towning. Brayden Venner. John Williams. Ella Zabel. Please stand and join in singing the gathering song, Today is Ours.
we come together to celebrate the graduating class of 2021. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Today we celebrate. That means we thank God for every blessing for our, our going students. Every blessing. And when we thank God, we sanctify ourselves. So we say, whatever went wrong in my life, I'm sorry. That's why we sanctify ourselves and we glorify God through a holy mass. This offering is a thanksgiving for every blessing that we count. So let us acknowledge all our failures, ask pardon, so prepare ourselves to make the celebration. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Loving God, creator of life and all that is good, we come together on this special day to celebrate and bless the graduating class of 2021. For the gifts they have been to the school community and their families, we thank you. For their future health and happiness, we pray. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your heart, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. The response is, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The word of the Lord is faithfulness and love. His love can never be measured. His beauty is like nothing we have ever seen. So let us place our trust in him. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The word of the Lord means a patient, gentle God. His love can never grow weary. His mercy is as though our sins have never been, if we can place our trust in him. The word of the Lord is fire, burning strong. His love can never grow weary. He will seek and save the lost until we all return. So let us place our trust in him. Please stand to welcome the gospel. The Lord be with you. 
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Don't worry about having something to eat, drink, or wear. Isn't life more than food or clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant or harvest. They don't even store games in bands. Yet your Father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth more than birds? Can worry make you live longer? Why worry about clothes? Look how the wild flowers grow. They don't work hard or make their clothes. But I tell you that Solomon with all his wealth was not as well clothed as one of them. God gives each gives such beauty to everything that grows in the fields, even though it is there to die and thrown into a fire tomorrow. He will surely do even more for you. Why do you have such little faith? Don't worry and ask yourselves, Will we have uh, anything to eat? Will we have uh, anything to drink? Will we have clothes to wear? Only people who don't know God are always worrying about such things. Your Father in heaven knows that you need all of these. But more than anything else, put God's work first and do what he wants. Then all the other things will be yours as well. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. My dear friends, I feel more comfortable here than there. I'm not here to ask any more questions, okay? So today in the gospel, Jesus is telling us, don't worry about anything. Do we want to worry? We don't want. We want to get rid of all the anxieties. We don't like anxiety at all, but still we have it. But Jesus is telling us, if in case you can put your trust in God, that makes the difference. Have you heard of uh, Abdul Kalam? Have you heard that name? May not be, he was the former president of India. And he had a very humble beginning. And um, he had a very good taste for space science. And so he went to join ISRO, that's the Indian Space Research Organization, and he failed. He was not able to join that. And later, he became the top brass of that organization. You know, when, when I read his life story, he met with a big failure against all his expectations. But still, he tried, and later he became the top brass. So a failure or a setback is not a life sentence. Ca things can go wrong in our life. All we need is resilience. When you go out searching for work or you're searching for a different course, you know, all we need is a resilience. Things can go wrong. 
but we can fix it. We are able to fix it. And there comes God. When we trust in God, in case we feel that every of our dreams are shattered, when we trust in God, it doesn't kill the anxiety, but it helps us to overcome that anxiety and have a go. That happens when God walks in our life. And what, what we do to get the help of God, in case we didn't trust God, we didn't believe in God for a long time, we never count on Him, but still He is good. When we need Him, just call on His name. He is ready to help us at any time when we need. He don't judge us. He don't put us aside on the margins. No. He won't say, you are not good. You are not good enough to call on me. God will never say that. He is good enough to listen. So, when you graduate and go out, have that trust and faith in God. And being in a Catholic school for a long time, you might have started with uh, St. Francis or with St. Coleman. And, uh, you know, that should be the wealth you have, that faith, that trust in God. That I can get anything I want when God is in my side and I can work very hard. And I wish you all best as you go out for your next course or for the work. I felt proud when I see BCH students, sometimes in the restaurant, sometimes in the service centers or in other workplaces. I met a medical student. You know, I just went there, you know, they try on everyone, you know. So they are looking for people to make experiments. So uh, I met a girl, then she told me, I know you. I asked her, how could you know me? She said, I was a student here. So, you know, so I, I feel very proud when I see a student who was here in the past. So I believe I will see you again somewhere. And I wish you all the best. You know, and God bless you. Ha try your heart. Have your dreams. And have faith in God. And God will enable you to have it. On this significant graduation celebration, it is with confidence that we bring our praise to God who extends love to all people. St. Marceline saw every occasion as an opportunity for lifting up his heart to the Lord. His soul broke out in acts of love, praise, and thanksgiving. In our own lives, May each of us live out and transmit the same love as we place our praise trustingly before you. Please stand. The response is God of love, make us be one in Christ. We pray. We pray for Pope Francis, Bishop Tim, Father Sibby, Father Daniel, and all the leaders in the church. May the Pope's message to heed the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor 
Inspire us to open our hearts and our minds to the injustices in our world and to take responsibility to initiate change. For our families, friends and mentors, we ask God's blessing on each of them and thank them for their love, support, guidance and encouragement throughout our years of education. God of love, hear us. For the gift of our community, we pray for each other and give thanks for the gift of the wonderful people of the BCHS community. May this love, support and connection continue to support us into the future. God of love, hear us. For the staff and members of our BCHS community who are dedicated to the education of young people. Thank you. We thank them for the commitment to our growth, for challenging us and caring for us. May we continue to use our knowledge and gifts to be agents of change on our world. God of love, hear us. For the graduating class of 2021, we pray that we continue to actively live a life of passion for God and compassion for people as modeled to us by St. Marcelin Champagne. We may continue to grow to be people of hope and personal integrity with a deep sense of social responsibility to transform the world around us. God of love, hear us. Loving God, our creator, source of all blessing, you delight in the happiness of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for, your, for our graduates and for all people and for your church throughout the world. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Let us pray. May these sacrificial gifts we offer 
you be acceptable in your eyes, O Lord, so that all of us who celebrate with joy the graduation of the seniors of 2021 may for the rest of its course be worthy to live in your love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. And so with the angels and saints, we rejoice and praise you singing. Please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make ye holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and uh, giving thanks broke it and uh, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and uh, eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and uh, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and uh, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and uh, eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
remember lord your church spread throughout the world and to bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope tim our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face help mercy on us all we pray that with blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph his spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever Please stand. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ to who search your apostle peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb please be seated
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
please stand. Let us pray. God of hope, we give you thanks for this day and uh, for your gospel that gives this day meaning. Stay close to us. You encourage us, help us to center our lives in you. May the blessing of this day remain vibrantly with us as we go about in our daily lives. And may the Burlington Catholic High School graduating class of 2021 continue to grow in faith, love, and service for one another. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. We are privileged to have representatives from the CWL Air Branch celebrating Mass with us today. Each year they put together a small gift for our Year 12 students. Mary Pattinson and Angie Rye will now hand this gift out to our Year 12 students. Thank you, Mary and Angie. I call on our 2022 school leaders to come forward and ask a blessing on our Year 12 graduates who are on the threshold of a new phase in their lives. They take with them our hopes and dreams and love. no experience you may be without its lesson and that you meet every challenge with fortitude and courage that you accept your mistakes but let them be few and never repeated that you realize that human nature is weak trying always to be patient forgiving and understanding that you be a source of courage and hope to others, even in your disappointments, that when you fail in reaching your ideals, you will go back and keep trying, that you will accept the mystery of life as a wonder and not a worry. Do your best in this life now and the future will take care of itself. 
that you may be always grateful for the precious gift of life with its limitless possibilities, to glory in the power that allows human beings to achieve greatness and to outdo themselves in miraculous work. That you might find words of comfort and inspiration in the word of God, that you may continue to learn about the goodness of God and how it can be known through your human goodness when you express it, when you express the best in you. When you are the best you can be, then you are an expression of God. I just request you all to raise your hands in blessing our year 12 student. We now offer a final blessing, especially to the seniors of 2021. Please let everyone stand. <coughs> let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. God our Father, we give you thanks for bringing these young people to this special moment in their lives. We ask you to accompany them as they face new adventures and challenges. May the path they take always lead to you and to the eternal joy that is their inheritance through baptism. We pray that they hold fast that which is good and render to no one any harm that they may strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak and the vulnerable, help the afflicted, and give love and dignity and respect to all. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to use the gifts God has given us to love and serve the Lord.
As our final farewell to our Year 12 students, as a school and as a community, we are now going to form a guard of honour to farewell our Year 12 students from BCH for the very last time. So I'm going to give you some instructions um, and uh, then I'll invite the Year 12s to come forward uh, and to collect a rose and we will commence the guard of honour. So inside the Marcelin Centre, if I could have Year 11 students and Year 7 students form a guard of honour down the middle and through to the back doors. Uh, outside the tuck shop area, if I could have Year 8 students and Year 9 students form a guard of honour. The walkway around the tuck shop and through to the front, if I could have uh, Year 10 students and Year 12 parents and families, some Year 11 students are going to assist you to form a guard of honour outside the front of the Marcelin Centre toward the front gates. Shortly, Year 12s will come forward and take a rose to give to their parents. Your parents will be waiting for you at the school gate, a symbolic gesture representing their journey of dropping you all off on your first day of BCH and collecting you all on your last day. Can I ask, please, everyone to form the Guard of Honour? Year 12s, just wait where you are momentarily. Okay, Year 12, if you would like to come forward and grab a rose and just wait at the start of the Guard of Honour, please take all your bits and pieces with you. Year 12, are we ready? For the final time, we congratulate the class of 2021.